Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a simple development environment for Ruby in VS Code. But first, if you like videos like this where I show you how to install software and how to set that software up, make sure to subscribe. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get started. So I have a folder open in VS Code and I named the folder Ruby and I'm going to create a file, let's just call that test.rb. Now, you do have to have Ruby installed on your system. I have a video on installing Ruby on a Chromebook, uh, so check that out. This is on a Chromebook, by the way. Um, so I have test.rb here and what I want first is like syntax highlighting and maybe a little snippets, those kind of things. So I'm going to go down to my extensions here, which are these like block things. And um, I've got this option, VS Code Ruby. Now, if I didn't see this come up because I was preparing for this video, I would just search for VS Code Ruby. And we see the first thing that comes up is VS Code Ruby. I'm going to install that. Okay, once that's installed, we can test it out. So if I type if, I've got like, these snippets here. So I can do like an if, else if, or if, else, if, else if here. If I want to tab and hit that, it gives me the if, else if, and um, if I want to undo it, let's see, I also get if, else if, else, so I can tab and hit that. And then I can give the conditions and tab through that. So this is going to help me write the Ruby code a lot easier. And it's going to, um, you know, help me with indentation, those kind of things, and syntax highlighting, so on and so forth. Now, one thing to note here with VS Code is the uh, indent is set at four spaces. So let's fix that. We want to do control comma here to bring up our settings. And if we go right to the top here, we see the tab size. For Ruby, typically it's two spaces. So we want to go to two there, and we'll change that. And um, now if I restart this file, um, now if I do my if, let's do my if, else, if, else, you'll see now that it is two spaces. That's what we want for Ruby, so that's good. Now we want to be able to easily run Ruby, and to do that, we're going to install another extension. So the other extension is called Code Runner, okay? And so um, let's click on this. We'll click Install. Okay, there we go. Uh, and now what we have actually here is we have a little arrow to run the file. So let me make this a little bit larger for you. And let's close up the sidebar here. And I'm just going to go through here. Let's do uh, if name double equals Tim. Well, what are we going to do? We're going to put um, hi name, something like that. Um, except I was doing <laughs> not, uh, I was not doing a string interpolation with uh, Ruby there, I was doing a little PHP. Anyways, so let's do hi name, uh, else if, let's say name double equals Joe, we might do puts and do by, and then uh, Joe there, and then else we'll just do puts, I don't know you. Okay, and we want to probably go to the top and set the name. So let's just set the name equal to Tim. There we go. Let's save it. Now we can press this arrow to run it. And we get hi Tim, as expected. Okay, if I want to change the name to Joe, I'll save it. And I run it. And uh, what happened here? Oh. I made an error. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have a, a variable called Joe. I'm going to say hi name. There we go. All right. So now let's run it again. And we see, we see by Joe. Okay, cool. Let's change it one more time to test this out. And let's change it to uh, Billy. Okay. So Billy will run it. And we see, I don't know you, okay? So very simple, it runs nice and easy and we can test out our Ruby scripts and run them in VS Code very easily with these two extensions. Uh, I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, could you please give it a like as it will help out the video a lot. Thank you.